everyone, welcome back to a video. I love you, alright? Nope. Hello, darlings. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, hi, guys. Welcome back to another video with me. And today we're going to be doing a home bargains haul for you. I did pick up a few bits unintentionally, um, so I just want to share you. Share. Who is it? Oh, darling. Look at you. Look at you. Right, so at random, this is in no particular order, but I'm just gonna um show you what's what I got from my little trip. I managed to get two big bags here, I'll try and show you, but they're quite heavy. There's a big shadow, I'll see if I can get rid of that one minute. So, in no particular order, I'm gonna jump straight into the bag. And the first thing that I picked up is this jar. Now this jar is has a pink bow around it. Um, you just pull the lid off like so. And that is so spacious. Do you not think that's really spacious? And the reason I'm saying it like that is because this jar was only £1.99. £1.99. Woo! Woo! I couldn't get my head around it. It's described as a medium vintage glass jar but I'm going to show you what my plans are for this. This is going to go in the bathroom and I'm going to put some like bath salts in here. Um, I just think this is going to look really cute on the windowsill so yeah. They do also do this in a smaller size. They are quite small though. They're probably about a quarter of the size of this but I just thought you're getting more glass for the same price. The next thing that I picked up is some Easter treats for the kids and I picked up this Haribo chicken mix box um, you get like, uh, well you get Harry Bows in there, um, you get some jelly sweets, it's just basically like a sweetie box and that's actually like the portion that you get. I'm not going to open it obviously because it's not for me. Um, this was, if, have I got a receipt? This chicken mix box was £1.49 which I don't think is bad, bad going for that. And then the next thing I got was these jelly carrots, they just look like this. Hello. There we go. They just come in a cute little box like this with the rabbit and the rabbit ears up here. And, <laughs> and you just get some jelly carrots in there. So these were, in case you're interested, I think they were 79p. Easter carrot jellies, these were 99p. And then the last Easter thing I picked up was this. How adorable is this though, please? It's like it's jelly beans in the shape of a little carrot. And I bought these for my brother because he absolutely loves jelly beans and these were an absolute bargain these were only 79p which i just thought is amazing so they have got some really cute easter bits in there at the minute so if you've got any kids or all, like nephews brothers sisters whatever if you just got little people in your life um they do some really good treats in there for cheap prices so yeah just keep an eye out for that next this is a bit boring but i just picked up a curry sauce um this is jalfrese jalfrese i never know if i'm pronouncing that right um but it just comes with like your powder at the top or your seasoning at the top and then um and then the um sauce this was, in case you're interested, so let me have a look. This was only 89p. I know you're not really interested in seeing a curry sauce, but you know, I'm gonna show them anyway out of bubs. Next thing I got is this Italian herbs, um, chicken in the bag, seasoning mix. I'm not gonna really bore you to death with this, um, but if you haven't used these before, and you're kind of stuck on ideas on what for do what to do for tea, um, but you've got chicken in. These are really nice and handy to have. So this one is just the Italian herbs, and it was 50p. Bargain, in it herbs. Next thing that I picked up was this Air Airwick. Um, what is this? It's like a, a spray that you put in. I'll show you. I'll show you. Hang on. So if you've got one of these, you just literally stick it in here. Um, and then every you can set it to like every hour every three hours or something like that and then it'll spray it'll make your room <laughs> it'll make your room smell nice um this one i got is in the scent um magnolia and then cherry blossoms i'm just gonna spray it oh that's nice oh that is so nice i'm gonna change it now actually the one we had in before was also cherry blossom. I must like cherry blossom. So the air freshener was £1.99. That's one bag done. 
next things I got was um, some microfiber dish dish cloths. Nothing really exciting about these. I just got a five pack and they're better than the normal cloths that you can get. Um, ideal on dirt and grease. So yeah, I just got them. I'm not keen on the fact that they've got like different colours. I wish it was just like all one colour and maybe a bit more neutral. These are like singing all different ten colours of the rainbow going on. But hey ho, it's only to clean. These were... I'll have a look for you. 99p. Again, bargain for five. You can't go wrong. If you went to the co-op to buy these, no joke, they'd probably be about two or three pounds. So, again, I picked up some pine toilet cleaner. This is the duck one, and this was 99p. And the next thing I got was some Sif. This one is cream with micro crystals. It's 100% tough dirt removal and 100% shiny clean. I'm going to be completely honest, I've never actually used... Oh, God, I sound like such an idiot. But I've never used Sif before. I know, I know. I feel like this is such an old school product as well. Like, everybody's used Sif. I personally haven't. I'm not 100% sure what you use it on. So, please leave me comments down below if you use this in your house and what you're supposed to do with it. Because I don't really know. Um... But, anyway, I thought you'd get a reasonable amount for the price point. Um, and this was £1.49. Okay, next, another cleaning product. It is the SIF. So it's the same sort of range, I'm assuming. Um, floor cleaner. It's just this one. It doesn't really say what scent it is. But, yeah, it's floor cleaner. And I think this was like a pound. I'm pretty sure this was a pound. Next thing I got was some Cadbury Caramel Biscuits and it just comes in a pack like this. I might have one of these now because I'm so hungry. But yeah, um, I'm, we'd never tried these beforehand but Dane loves caramel biscuits, caramel chocolate, caramel anything. Um, so I just thought I'd pick them up and yeah, they were about a pound. Yeah, these were 99p as well. Right, last few bits. Um, I picked up, these are the bath salts that I'm gonna put in that jar. And these are the activated charcoal, antioxidizing and soothing, 100% natural Dead Sea bath salts with retinol. So, retinol, I believe, is really good for the skin. Like anti-aging, soothing, things like that. They smell very clean. And you get 30, around 34 ounces in here. And these were really cheap. There was about £1.99. If you went somewhere like TK Maxx, um, these would be around probably say around three pounds four pounds um i'm obviously not that keen on the jar though to be honest i did want them out on display so if i just show you i'm gonna pop them in here and the bathroom color theme that we have is pink and gray so i just thought if i tip them in there that'll look really cute but obviously you don't have to go for these ones you can choose you can choose whatever bath salts you want because they do have quite a lot in there actually but i just like the fact that these have all them ingredients in which are apparently amazing for it for you so yeah that's them next thing I picked up and I was a little bit apprehensive is that the right word lashes because obviously they were the, I think like the home bargains own brands of lashes but there's like one pair of lengthening ones it comes with glue and they look like this how good do they look for £1.49 I think these are gonna look pretty good I do. If I next have them on in a video, I'll come up close so I can show you what the, they look like. But for about 49 if these are good, I'm going to go back and grab, like, all of them. And then next I picked up this anti-dandruff um, x Pell. I'm assuming this is the brand here. Um, therapeutic shampoo. It's treatment for dandruff, dandruff psoriasis, and an itchy dry scalp. Me and Dane both suffer from flaky scalps and it's like really itchy. I don't know why, but our both our scalps are just so itchy. So I thought I'd give this one a go. In case you're interested to see what it looks like, I'm just going to get it out of the box. So it looks like this. I have had something similar. I think it was like the Neutrogena tea gel, I want to say, before, which is supposed to be good for psoriasis. I personally think it was overpriced and it stank. It did not smell nice. Have you just popped them? yeah little shit um so yeah the neutrogena one was around seven to eight pounds and it didn't smell great so this one doesn't smell fantastic either but i tell you something if it does the job and this was only let me just have a look 
£1.99 so it's a fraction of the price if it does the same job then yeah get yourself down to own bargains I've got the Lee Stafford um, brand shampoo and conditioner this one is the blinding brunette shampoo with pro brunette complex and natural coloured brunette hair so it's is to lightly turn, refresh and restore brunette hair. If you don't know about Lee Stafford, it's quite an expensive brand um, which is stocked at like Boots, Superdrug and things like that. I'm not sure how much this retails for normally and I can't check because I'm filming with my phone but I'm pretty sure this would be about three, four pounds if not more. Um, but in home bargains these are selling for £1.99. So that's the shampoo and then I got the blinding brunette um, conditioner, basically the same um, just in a conditioner form and again this was £1.99 and they smell really good as well so yeah. Bargain! I keep saying that but everything's just a bloody bargain! And then the next thing that I got was the Semperix, um Tanning Mist, this one is in the shade Medium. It's developed with Guide Colour Streak Free. You get 150 mils in here and it is buildable as well. Um, I have used that before and I've got to say it goes quite patchy quite quickly that one compared to the medium. I do like this because it washes off really nicely. It's buildable and it's so cheap. It's like £2.99 which is just amazing. Honestly, if you've not tried this fake tan, I'm just going to show you up, up close. This is what the bottle looks like. If you've not tried it, please try it. It's honestly so good. I have used Centre Pay before, which didn't last as long. It was wet, it didn't dry as nicely. I've used um, Bondi Sands. Honestly, I have tried every fake tan going under the sun. I can't even tell you. I also tried the Coco Brown ones, which a few girls that I know talked about them and, you know, highly rated them. But I just, nothing compares to this fake tan. I don't know what it is, but this just goes really nicely onto my skin. So, yeah, enough rambling about my favourite fake tan. Next thing I got was this Right Guard Women Invisible Deodorant. Again, I'm not going to ramble too much about this product like I did with the fake tan, um, but this is by far my favourite deodorant as well. I know that seems weird to have a favourite deodorant, but this really is. Um, in fact, I'm just going to put some on now. Oh, oh bloody hell! And it's just, I don't know, it's just nice. It's just, it's just amazing. I like it. So this was only a pound. Right, okay, we've come to the end of the haul. No, we haven't. I'm just going to show you. Last but not least, I decided to pick up a candle because ours is um, on its last legs, as you can see down there. It doesn't even spark anymore, so I need to get rid of that. If you're interested, this was a Yankee candle and it was in the St. Cashmere. Very nice, but it's gone. It's dead. We needed another. So I chose this one. It's the Wickford & Co brand. If you've never tried these candles from Home Bargains before, again, I recommend you to just because they last quite long, they're cheap, and they smell really nice. So this one is just clean. It's springy, and that is what the kind of scent that I'm going for now. I'm trying to get rid of all the cinnamons, gingerbread men wild berries <laughs> stuff like that out the house so this one is called wedding day so you know what to look out for when you go but yeah i think there was a vanilla and cashmere which i really liked but i also really like this one and my mum said to go for this one so i did what my mum said <laughs> £2.99 if I haven't said already. Okay guys, that's the end of the video. I've hoped that you've enjoyed today's one and found a few bits that you might like and that you might want to go pick up when you next go on your shopping trip. Um, next video is probably going to be uploaded this weekend. I'm wanting to do a house tour at some point for you all as well. I don't know if that's something that you're interested in. Um, any videos, suggestions that you have, please feel free to link down below. Comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you very shortly in yet another video. Bye everyone.